Hello, welcome to this video on my darkness system. But first, I just want to show you the pigeon I call Crazy Hard Look. He's crazy. He'll draw blood in your leg. Protecting his female. Crazy house. We've got the uh, few of the first round and the uh, second round young bird. This one here. The uh, last one to go in. Out of the quiver aim. This one there. That one. That's the youngest. Second round. This video is going to be about the darkness system and how I do it, how I put the young birds on the dark and when and for how long. But as you can see, there's one or two there that are looking like yearlings, like this one. And she's from the first round. She's already had a body moat, but I always put them on the dark once I move the second round into the lock. Okay, this video I'm going to talk to you about the darkness system. You can see the black sheet over the window there. The black sheet over that window. Also over the vents. Just for a minute, I'll let you watch the second round young birds. How they're coming on. Shout these in and then I'm going to show you the darkness system. Okay, so I've just got the young birds in and I've fed them. Um, you can see the dark sheets on the front of the loft, apart from one window. Because that's just because they've fed them. So once they've been fed, then they'll go up to roost. But once they're all roosted, we'll put the uh, black cover on that window. So they'll be on the darkness system. Now the darkness system, some people say they have to be on it for 12 weeks. Well, that all depends on your what you want to do your circumstances me myself personally my young birds will have five or six races four or five so i only put them on it for eight weeks and i found that that works for me i'm not saying that's the rule a lot of people say they have to be on it for 12 weeks well i beg to differ because i've tried everything i've tried them on it for six week eight week 12 weeks and longer Make a note depending on your own circumstances is what suits you and I found that I can get the first four five six young bird races which is to educate them for old bird racing because I believe that them young birds have got to go to the races they've got our experience coming off that transporter and the darkness system gives them that full wing they've got the adult body feathers they look like yearlings, but obviously they're stronger. But me, myself personally, for the last four or five years, I've only ever had to put them on the darkness for eight weeks. And that's good enough for me. Um, they perform well, they've won prizes, first prizes. So, but I do stop racing around the middle of August and towards the end of August so I can take my family on a holiday and then that's it so four or five races for me for the young birds I'm not a big I used to be I used to every race but as I got older I've realized that pigeons is not the be all and end all but I do like to compete when I send, I like to win. 
we all if we're all truthful we center the race to win we don't send to make the numbers we don't want to come second but hey everybody's trying so always shake the hand of the winner win lose or draw you've got to be a sportsman and that's what it is it's a hobby my hobby and I enjoy the pigeon now just see there the widow wood cock because the cocks are out I've got the widow wood cocks exercise in there look let's see if I can show you them I'll come round that tree any minute there you go so that's the widowers we only race a small team of pigeons guys so that's my 12 widowed hopefuls for this year. You'll see them there flicking round. And they have had a few training tosses, but the weather, like I say, nine of these cocks are yearlings. And they don't like them yearlings, they don't like them cold east winds. So there you go, but they're flying well. I like to see them, I like to laugh flying more than training, so I can see the condition on the pigeons by the way they're flying around the loft. The, uh, the, they've got a zip about them. Once they come into condition and they, they fit, they fly with a bit of a zip. Now the cocks now have just disappeared out, but I can see them from when I look to the right. And they're going low over the farmer's field next door. Like swooping down and low, and then they're coming up high. And they're racing one another. Now, when I let them out, the cocks, they always go out for one hour a day. That's it. I don't, I haven't got time to let them out twice a day. If I was, because I work, I go to work. But if I had the time, I would let them out twice a day. But I've, I uh, believe in my longest race is 200 miles. And normally, no matter what the wind, the pigeon will do 50 miles an hour. So that's four hours maximum from my furthest race point. So I believe that if I can condition the pigeon in the week to fly four hours, then there's no problem in flying that four, maximum four hour race on a Saturday from 200 mile averaging 50 miles an hour. That's just the way I think. Now people might disagree with that, but I've won enough prizes over the years top feds, I've topped the combines, I've topped the miles to know that why would I want to fly my pigeons out for eight hours in the week and that's, that's if you fly them out Monday to Thursday once a day that's four hours if you let them out twice a day that's eight hours for me that's conditioning for the channel people might laugh That's what I believe in. There's the cocks coming now. Look, boom, zipping round. And, uh, I know when they they're not far off the way that they fly. So going back to conditioning, I I let my pigeons out once a day for one hour. Now whether they're flying like that and they disappear for 10 or 15 minutes. That's what I like to see them. That's what they do when I first let them out. They'll disappear for 10 minutes and they'll return, but they're looking for the hen. And um, I don't care if they come and land on the loft roof. They won't get in the loft until that one hour is up so they can clap off and they can go again. Or they can sit on the loft chasing each other around. It doesn't matter to me. Pigeons are fit, I can see the fit by the way that they zip round the skies, round the loft. Um, now the yearlings, I have been I have been training back to the hen. If you look, watch my previous video, when they come back from a trainer, they're always back to the hen because you've got to teach them yearlings what they're going to race for. Why, why are they racing? They want to come back because you've got to drum it into them. But after that first race, then I never put the pigeons in a training basket again. I just fly them around the loft and a lot of that is due to time, work commitments. But I've won my fair share doing it like that way. Yep, yeah, I'd love if I was a retired or I didn't work. I'd had all day with the pigeons then. 
I'd probably do different things. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the darkness system now and just show you. Um, inside the loft, when the loft's covered, and you've got them on that darkness system. eager to get into the loft with the end of the boxes. Like I say, I always lock them out for one hour and they're flying. Oh, they're just landing on the loft and going back up. It doesn't bother me. That never, ever, ever goes by. Never. They'll come into their own fitness when they're ready and they'll fly to if they fly 45 minutes, 50 minutes, that's enough for me. But I always lock him out of that loft for one hour. He's looking for his end look. He knows his end somewhere around there. But his end is behind that black sheet in that box. I cover them when the cops are out. are eager to get into the loft and fit the end in the boxes. Like I say, I always lock them out for one hour and they're flying. Oh, they're just landing on the loft and going back up. It doesn't bother me. That never, ever, ever goes by. Never. They'll come into their own fitness when they're ready and they'll fly to if they fly 45 minutes, 50 minutes, that's enough for me. But I always lock them out of that loft for one hour. He's looking for his end look. He knows his end somewhere around there. But his end is behind that black sheet in that box. I cover them when the cops are out. Okay guys, I just want to show you, you know, the cocks are outside. Uh, I've just come into the loft now and I've put a bit of food in the boxes, as you can see. Yeah, I always feed them in the box if you've watched my videos. But that way I make sure that they eat every grain. Yeah, it's a nice mixture of corn there. They're not on no diet corn or anything like that, or depurative or barley. They're on a good racing mixture. The weather's been cold, these winds. So I'm just going to show you now. When I open up the, my cocks coming through the roof of the loft. I'll just show you, give you a quick look. So they come in through there, which is the roof of the loft. Once I open it up and they'll drop through there into the section. So I'm going to open up this roof now, guys, and show you. 
I'll attract me with the woodcocks. I can hear the I can hear the footsteps on the roof because they know I'm inside the loft. And that's when you know you're doing the manager's job right. Them cocks are watching your every move. They're looking for that hen. They don't know what's coming next. And that's how you, me for me, that's how you've got to have them. And you'll see in a minute when I open that roof trap that them cocks will enter the loft and they'll go into the boxes, they'll eat the food. They'll, they think their ends are in here because after every exercise, they're looking for that end. So guys, that's the roof trap open. Now we're going to shout the call the cocks inside the loft. And that's the way they come in. There you go, there's one. But you can see my fault. They're not used to that, so let me just set that away. Come on then. Come on. Come on then. You can hear them now, they're coming into the loft. There you go. Straight onto the boxes. So that's how they come in, that's how they enter the loft guys, they're coming through the roof trap and they straight onto the corn mix that I've just put out for them, that you've just seen. Come on then, encourage them in, they know the drill, don't forget guys, many of these are only yearlings, they didn't fly to this loft last year, Got a couple fights in there. Come on, come on then. It's all about routine guys. Now I work all day, so now it's around 10 to 7 p.m. The pigeons will respond to your routine. They always say routine, same time, every day, exercise, feed, exactly the same time. And pigeons will respond to it. Come on, there's one still out, here he comes, there's always one guys, so that's the way I do it, you can see them cocks, now in that mixture and I'll stay with them, I'll watch them, if they, if they leave any, they get no more, if they clear it, I like to hand feed them in them boxes. That way I know each ind individual pigeon and what, what they need. Anyway, let's go back to that darkness system. That's the name of this video. But I, I like to show you everything. Some people say that people they don't show you what they do. Well, you're seeing it here. You're seeing it here. And, uh, time is a big thing. Pigeons are all about circumstances. You've got all day with the pigeons, then you've got better circumstances than me. But what I will say is that Widowwood pigeons, they don't want messing with. You do them in the morning, if you can get them out in the morning, you do them in the evening. In between, you leave them to rest in the boxes. So that's all the cocks in now. That now you, you might see an empty box there, but this cock here, you see him. That's, that's 54, he won last year for me as a young bird, but he, he fancies this corner in the loft. So I encourage him, leave him. Uh, in the evening he'll come and sit in that box. But he likes me to feed him here. He likes me feeding him right there, right next to me feeding. He doesn't eat in his box, but he'll eat when I put it here. And uh, I'm hoping that he's going to win me a race this year. But let's see. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm just going to show you now the, uh, the finish it inside the darkness loft. The young birds, the second round are in. So I'm going to show you now the darkness system. You've seen the correct black sheet over the windows. That's all it needs. But make sure that the loft's still ventilated. Okay, guys. So now you can see that the windows have been... Uh, Dark and off, the young birds have been fed around about 35 40 minutes ago. The roosted under here is my widowed ends, 
but I darken them off when the cocks are out. So that's my widowed hens. As you can see, 12 of them. Got water on my drinker, on the, uh, the gauge. They have pull out trays. But I cover them hens up like that so the cocks don't see them. But the young birds are in this loft, as you can see. It's got a nice, it's just a nice thin correct sheet over the window from the local DIY, about five pounds a sheet. Cut it with scissors, it does a brilliant job. So I'm just going to take you inside the loft now to show you that how dark that I have my young birds. As you can see, daylight outside. But the idea of the darkness system that they only have eight hours, eight or nine hours light. So here we go, you can see that the young birds are perched. I'm going to close the door now to get, give you an idea of how dark it is inside the loft. As you can see, it's pitch black. It's blackness, I have got, you'll see a bit of light up there, that's the air vents, which I mentioned earlier. So I've got air coming in to the loft and um, any stale air will go out the back of the loft at the top of them perches. So I'll just give it, open the door so you can see. So that's the perches. And above them, the, that two inch gap is ventilation, which is very important. Close the door, you can see the lights and it's gotta be you can see a little bit of light, you probably won't be able to see it, but I can see it when I'm in here. There's, a, there's enough light for them to come down and have a drink if they choose to. But if you do it at the right time, depending on the leak, the main meal in the evening, take as much water as they want. We've got some young birds perching there, see? And you can see a little bit of light coming through for the ventilation. But that's for me it works people might say you need it darker but no not for me i've tried all sorts and for the amount of races i have with the to educate these young birds that's enough so without further ado guys they are on the dark um like i say these will be on the dark for eight weeks not 12 because that's sufficient for my racing so I hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, 